What's up you guys, Joe Dobby here and I am now proud to announce that I am a deck out gaming affiliate use code joe dobbs deck out at checkout for five percent off all tcg products deck out gaming is canada's premier website for singles on one piece digimon tcg pokemon mainly and dragon ball super a lot of these singles are pretty affordable and they've updated their tcg pricing as well check out these reviews thank you What's up you guys, Joe Dobby here with another gameplay video for you and I'm not leaking this list. We did not hit our sub goal on Twitch and honestly I'm gatekeeping the list for nationals but I played Minerva Mon Loop, uh, my version with some spicy tech in Gaia Force Gaming Circuit and I did pretty well against this Grandis um, matchup. This is the very, this is one of the most exciting games that I've pretty much um, played throughout the tournament and mind you there were a lot of exciting games so i basically analog youth here because i didn't have a rookie and it's kind of unlucky um that i just ended up picking the scatter mode but he does go back to one there with the kabu goes into the akua setting me to two and do i draw a rookie let's see still no rookie so we're out here analog you thing and we finally see two rookies in a row so i grab that gabu because i just did pick up the scatter mode and we're setting some good trash pieces in there already for the Minervamon or Mervamon. We do have the Ignite and the Soulmon there, but instead I pivot into the Dark Tyranimon, which is my first revealed secret tech for y'all. If you saw my YouTube short, I hope you did like that. And um, yeah, so I'm setting this up because I know that he's way ahead of me and he's just gonna swing for everything. But Grandis typically needs two Digimon to swing for game which is why I'm kind of just setting up here, hoping to have a counter turn at the end of whatever havoc that this player will proceed to dish out. <laughs> so does a little bit of a big thing comes there, definitely has the memory to go to four and kind of just go crazy. Um, and I think this was where he was kind of deciding whether he just wants to go for all in and maybe drop something like a terrier if possible, or whether he just wants to kind of call it from there so upon some long decision uh making we do get there because i'm also we're kind of also talking about grandis's effects i did have some questions for him um and uh yeah oh by the way guys if you do like the video please like and subscribe um i do want to build this channel up so i can let uh i can be a resource for all the purple players out there haha <laughs> let me know um and yeah, so he's going to go for the all-in strategy here, pretty much diving into that Grand Kuagamon promo. And um, he's going to Digiburst for everything here, get the 2k DP boost from the Yoko. And uh, the Grandis will basically be unbeatable, even with um, Death Exmon and Zwart or what have you. So it goes to zero here and has to go for everything. Otherwise, you're totally just wasting this turn, right? At this point, I think I was just hoping for either a Jack Raid or two Jack Raids or anything like that. He is talking about the effect of Akuamon, where on my turn, there is a blanket effect that anytime I am suspended, I lose a memory. But I believe that we play around that very, very well. So we're kind of just diving into it. I checked Digimon card dev for a quick sec just to confirm things um, at some point in this game. And then we just kind of go for it. Yeah, so this is me checking .dev right now, <laughs> as he's explaining. <laughs> oh, man. This was really fun, though. Um, shout out to him. He's a very good opponent, very good player. Uh, and we were learning BT11, so it's all good. Hits the Psychmon, does absolutely nothing. Hits the Ghazi and the Death X. The Death X does nothing and goes for the final two checks here with the Minerva and the double Minerva, which is really unfortunate. When I saw that, I honestly thought that that was game, but the Terriermon putting me to three was actually very good. It was actually pretty good for me. So I go into Minerva here, and I believe all I really do is just crash into that Grandis, suspending the Terriermon. And then I do pay the memory for the Akua, but I gain two back because of the double Analog Youth. Shout out to Analog Youth being the most clutch card in the game right now. 
um, for me. And then I end up trashing the Merva so I can do I can play the Merva at the end of the sequence. So as you can see here, I'm filling my trash with the things that I need. And the Dark Tyranemon comes absolutely clutch here because I can suspend the Terrier. And it's not a Pomo, which means I can play a bunch of different things for free. And they're all going to have Rush. And I can swing over that Terrier. I cross with the Beelzemon here because I have the end of attack play to gain memory. Now I've got 8k Retaliation Digimon um, by virtue of the Soulmon. So Dark Rizza and Soul are, oh, not 8k, 6k. You need two Soulmon to be 8k. So the Merva does swing and I do gain memory back after paying the one for Akua. And um, I could have swing here, but, you know, there's nothing in raising. I could totally swing here but I just pass one just to make sure that I can establish a pretty defensive board state because one of the things that Grand Coagamon is kind of weak to is retaliation. Sure, he can suspend a lot of my retaliation Digimon, my blockers, what have you, but if I have enough of them on board, all I really need to do is block. So he's going to play a very heavy Grandel Sol here to take out my only way to block um, or have blockers on board, right? So with that, Grand El Sol will suspend the soul, but it doesn't matter. I unsuspend and I do hit a Kokuamon, so that sucks. <laughs> um, but, you know, the, the Dark Riz is going to end up swinging for six and survives again. And I'm just sitting here like I need to draw and trash things. So without anything of the sort taking place, I believe I just find a way to Digivolve. So we get into that Cerberus, paying the three, going to four. And seven memory was pretty fortunate here. Grand El Sol being the only out, it was a decent play. I guess he was banking on me not seeing a second Merva or anything like that at all. But by the time I, you know, pretty much need any of that, I establish a board state. And from here, I think I'm just able to swing out and win the game. So here we are just doing all kinds of crazy things. That Solmon is actually alive, so I do put that back. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just reading things. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so we do call here, and I do believe that I grab the Minerva, yes, and another Serb. Oh, a Gabu, so I get that extra draw. Gotcha. Because I do play another Merva, obviously, so I'm just trying to dig for that. Um, but at this point, if I'm able to revive for Darkness here with the Minerva, I pretty much have game. Uh, so we jack raid here. I should have over 20 cards gaining me four. And this is a very awesome revive from darkness if I choose to do so. If I even have it in hand, and I believe I do, because I do win here. This is the turn that I win. I don't think I pass again. Yes, so we revive for darkness going to zero. And because he's got two or fewer Digimon on the board, we end up playing the full Serb combo. And then it's a draw two, trash one, gain nine. And then I can pretty much swing here. And if it's not a Grand El Sol to take out the Eismon, then I can just pay three more. Going into the Cerberusmon Werewolf mode and basically swing for game. So that was a pretty crazy, crazy game overall. And um, yeah, we managed to just go hard and go as strong as we can into it. And uh, it paid off. Um, guys, if you do like this and more gameplay profiles and deck profiles and all that stuff, please like and comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, let me know if you want a deck profile um, and maybe closer to nationals when people have submitted their decks. I will just upload this and have it premiere on the day of nationals so you guys can refer to the list as you watch the tournament. Hopefully I will be on stream at Nats. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace. Bye.